Hi everyone. In this video, we will see the types of CRTs and uh, working of CRT. What are the different uh, features of CRT screens? <clears throat> CRT basically stands for cathode ray tube. CRT stands for cathode ray tube. So cathode ray tubes, there are two types of cathode ray tubes available. <clears throat> they are electromagnetic deflection CRTs and electrostatic deflection CRTs. So if you properly look into the name electromagnetic deflection CRTs, electrostatic deflection CRTs, by seeing the names itself, we can understand that uh, one is completely towards a magnetic field depending on the magnetic field. Another one is completely electric field. So in the electromagnetic deflection CRTs, uh, we will use yoke and coil, yoke and coil where the coil is surrounded by the yoke to display the signal. Some flux is generated because of that flux, electron beam is deflected on the CRT screen. <coughs> but whenever the coil is introduced into, into the equipment, definitely the, the equipment becomes a bulky in nature. So that, uh, that's why this type of uh, CRT screens are not generally preferred in any of the uh, domestic and commercial purposes so electrostatic deflection crts are, then, are another type of crts where the electric field is used to deflect the electron beam <clears throat> so some electron voltage we are applying to deflect the electric be electron beam on the cro screen that's why it is electrostatic deflection crts and now let us completely study about uh, electrostatic deflection crts uh, electrostatic deflection CRT is available in number of types and sizes suit for individual requirements. So if you take any electrostatic deflection CRTs, uh, different types of CRT screens available and different features are there. Here a lot of features are available because of their requirement of the user. Some users may need circular display, some users may need rectangular display, some may need color in different colors. Uh, screen colors are different, sizes are different, um, and operating voltages are different. Different types of uh, um, features are there which are determined based upon the usage of the user. So, uh, let us see some of the important features of the CRT screens. Uh, they are, first one is size, pass for, operating voltages, deflection voltages, and viewing screen. <coughs> size, pass for, operating voltages, deflection voltages, and viewing screen so size is nothing but size refers to the diameter of diameter of the screen diameter of the screen in terms of inches size refers to diameter of the screen in terms of inches so different types of uh, uh, different sizes are available depending upon the uses uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7 we will go in depth into the when we will discuss about the topic and the password refers to the fluorescent material which is coated behind the um, behind the screen in order to get a spark and so that the light is a, appeared as a line uh, the electron beam will be appeared as a line or a dot uh, whatever it is so a complete waveform is going to be produced because of this material password and another important uh, feature of this password is it is uh, de it determines the color and persistence it determines the color and persistence of the screen. Persistence of the screen. Operating voltages. So several types of accelerating anode and um, focusing anodes are there. So what are the different operating voltages we need? And uh, um, so in order to produce the electron beam, we should use in some electron beam. Uh, what is the voltage required to get the uh, electron beam to be energized? So like that we will study that type of voltages in the operating voltages. <coughs> Deflecting voltages specifies what are the types of voltages that deflects the electron beam on the screen whether it is in AC voltage or DC voltage and where we are applying to the horizontal reflection plates and vertical reflection plates there that we will look for uh, deflecting voltages topic. And viewing screen. <coughs> Viewing screen, uh, in terms of centimeters, we will see the size of the screen, what is the different uh, screening, uh, screens available in the viewing screen. So these are the features that are uh, to be discussed in the CRTs. So CRT features, the first one is size. Size refers to the screen diameter. CRTs are generally available in 
1, 2, 3, 5 and 7 inches. So we, as I discussed earlier, these are the different uh, sizes of the screen. <coughs> Whereas 3 inches is most commonly used for any of the laboratory purposes. Suppose if you are having a screen in the um, CRO, uh, laboratories you are have daily watching different types of uh, CRTs, CROs and uh, all these are having different uh, sizes of the screens, different uh, colors. <coughs> So differently we are using, uh, uh, commonly we are using a portable instruments 3 inches for regular purposes. And suppose, <coughs> excuse me, suppose we are having a CRT screen number as 5GP1. In this case 5 refers to the size of the screen. I will tell what is GP1 in the next uh, coming features. Uh, 5 refers to if any CRT is designated with a number like 5GP1 or 5GP11 something like that the first number indicates the size of the screen in terms of inches and uh, another feature of this size is uh, some screens may be available in a round shape or some screens may be available in available in rectangular shape so depending upon the usage we are selecting either round or rectangular in laboratories we generally use rectangular shape and round shapes are preferred in the uh, radar communication uh, or any navy communication so like that uh, in uh, uh, long distance communications to locate the objects generally we prefer the uh, round displays like a PPA displays like that okay <coughs> and the viewing size the viewing screen size is generally 8 centimeters by 10 centimeters it is generally 8 centimeters by 10 centimeters so 8 by 10, 8 centimeters uh, vertical, 10 centimeters horizontal. So that's why it is a rectangular display. Another type of feature I told you already, it is a password, a fluorescent material that is coated behind the screen, that is a password. So the password not only it is coated, it determines the persistence color of the trace. <coughs> What do you mean by color? Color is nothing but different color. White color screens are there. Green are there. Blue are there. Blue green are there. Yellow are there. Different colors are there. Along with that, it also determines the persistence of the trace. What do you mean by persistence? Persist persistence is nothing but the time for the signal to lapse on the screen even, of, even when the power is switched on, switched off. Okay, even we disconnect the power from the... Uh, plug board of the CRT screen even that condition also the signal will uh, appear every fraction of seconds okay depending upon the time it appears again they are classified into short long and very long like that okay so colors are as I discussed colors are blue green blue green and uh, whites are generally used in TVs whites are generally used in TVs see why TV here TVs are not general not nowadays TVs in olden days we have uh, the CRT screen TVs, CRT TVs like uh, the box TVs are there. As most of you have might, most of you might have seen, but not used at your homes. Okay, so this box type TVs are having internally CRTs. So CRT is the heart of any type of display unit which are using this electron gun and uh, something, uh, some other equipment to deflect the electron beam. So such type of uh, TVs uses this white screen and blue, green, orange are generally used for or yellow are used for any radar communications. I, I told you already persistence uh, refers to the trace remains on the screen even after the power has been ended. Okay, so depending upon the time it is being on the screen, uh, it is determined as short, medium and long. So how these are designated? So these are the different types of uh, designations that are given as, a, as, a, as an example. So P1, P1 specifies the green medium. P1, <coughs> P1 is nothing but green medium. P2 is nothing but blue green medium. P5, blue very short. P11, blue short. Here green indicates the color and medium is nothing but persistence. Blue, green, it is the color and medium is nothing but blue, very short and blue short. Now, in the same example, if you have taken 5GP1, what it means? 5 inches CRT screen with green color and P1 persistence, medium persistence. So, this is the meaning of any CRT screen designation. So, next one is operating voltages. 
in the operating voltages uh, the electron gun to get heat like heater is nothing but electron gun to get heat we are using 6.3 volts ac or dc at 600 milliamperes so here remember this voltage 6.3 volts ac or dc at 600 milliamperes so several dc voltages are also required like accelerating and uh, boxing anodes ne uh, negative grid control voltage of minus 14 volts to minus 200 volts positive anode number one that is a focusing anode which is used to change the focus of the electron beam or that on the cro that is from minus 100 to minus 1100 volts and positive anode number two different anodes are there anode one and anode number two that is uh, one is for focusing another one is for accelerating this is a positive voltage which is uh, <coughs> 600 volts to 6000 volts okay positive anode uh, number one this is also a positive voltage not negative this is also positive voltage from here to here 100 to 1100 and positive anode number 3 that is accelerating anode 200 volts to 20,000 volts in the same cases. Okay. And uh, deflecting voltages. So deflecting voltages are nothing but how long the electron spot or a beam that has to travel on the screen. So sweep, sweep voltage. Okay. Suppose if you are taking a sinusoidal waveform, uh, if you are taking a sinusoidal waveform, how many movements are there? See. If this is the sinusoidal waveform if anybody asks you to tell me to tell how many movements are there in this waveform how many movements are there suppose if the electron beam is at this position to reach here how many movements actually it has to travel two movements horizontal movement and vertical movement or vertical movement and horizontal movement so electron is traveling here means from like in this way the electron beam has to travel that means it accomplishes both the directions uh, horizontal and as well as vertical movements so in order to accomplish this uh, deflection uh, we may use either ac or dc voltage the distance through which the spot moves on the screen is proportional to the dc or peak ac amplitude the deflection sensitivity of the uh, usually stated of uh, crt usually stated as the voltage required for each centimeter of deflection of the spot on the screen so viewing screen the viewing screen is nothing but it determines the uh, size the viewing screen is a is the glass face plate the inside wall of the inside wall of which is coated with phosphor already discussed in the crts the viewing screen is rect rectangular screen having a graticules marked on it here the new term graticules so if you observe any crt how to measure the waveform uh, amplitude and as well as time period you are uh, counting the number of uh, grids that the crt screen shows suppose if for the same sinusoidal waveform if anybody asks you to measure what is the time period and as well as amplitude as well as amplitude what will you do so uh, suppose consider like this it is the first graticule second third and fourth like this okay like this so how many graticules that it touch how many grids it is touching one two three four so four into you will take time per division and amplitude how to measure let it be two on the upwards and two in the downwards so totally what is the peak to peak voltage 1 2 3 4 4 into voltage per division so in this way you will take the measurement of the sinusoidal or any type of waveform that is displayed on the crt screen with the help of with the help of graticules so graticules are nothing but horizontal and vertical lines that are drawn on the crt screen without graticule without graticules no one can measure the time period and voltage of this waveform because we should know uh, on the CRO front panel control, we have time period division and voltage per division. That divisions are nothing but from coming from the graticules. Okay, so normally every C standard CRT size is uh, CRT sizes are eight and eight centimeters by ten centimeters. Okay, so each centimeter on the graticule, each is nothing but each graticule is a centimeter. Uh, like uh, suppose if you are having a grid like this okay it is nothing but one centimeter size it is nothing but one centimeter size horizontally and as well as vertically each each graticule 
Please change this. Each graticule specifies one centimeter. One centimeter on the screen. Okay. So each graticule specifies one centimeter on the screen. Okay. So this is about CRT and CRT features, types of CRTs. Okay. Thank you.